Right guys, I want to show you how I built my planters behind me really cheaply and with a minimum effort. And now is a really good time to do it because with all the leaves falling over autumn, um, you can put them into your planter, they're going to rot down and you can start to get some uh, material to grow your plants in um, in the spring. You might have to, have to add a little bit more compost later on, but you know, if you get started, you can start to put stuff in there. So, start with cardboard, lay cardboard down. Now I've got a huge bit of cardboard from a big chicken coop that I got, but you can use uh, your delivery boxes, they can be smaller. Put your cardboard down. This is part of the no dig method, which means you don't have to dig anything up. This will suppress the grass and the weeds below it. Um, you know, if you look in my chicken coop, you can see where the chickens have dug up some of the cardboard that's been kind of rotting and laying down and there's nothing underneath. So it's great for the weeds. Now this is the magic. This, this is a pallet collar. Now you can get them on uh, Facebook marketplace. I've seen them between five and eight quid. Um, you want to get the ones with the stamp saying heat treated. You do not want the chemically treated um, pallet collars, especially if you're growing food. Um, so get a heat treated. Um, and as I said, find them online about between five and eight quid. So they're great because they fold up <laughs> and then they make this. It's absolutely wonderful. So if you want to, you can cut around, but you don't have to. You can leave it like that. I'm going to leave it because it's going to suppress all the grass around it. Um, and then just fill it up. Here you go. Here's a load of wheat and leaves. Another tip, if you've got stables or anything, you can always ask people that have horses if you can take some of the manure. Now you want the manure to um, rot down a bit. You would never want to plant stuff directly in the manure because it's too rich. It will burn the um, roots of little seedlings. But put your leaves in, put your vegetable peelings in, your tea bags, eggshells, all of that. Let that rot down. Now, I'm gonna show you you will see that some of my planters are bigger and taller than others. And this is the wonderful thing about these pallet collars. are designed for stacking. I'm not doing this very well here. <laughs> They're designed for stacking. I've not got it square, that's why. Here we go. Oh, it's bent, that's why I've crashed it up. a lot quicker than that but you can build them up they're designed for stacking just build them up I should probably do that again but I'm not going to um, that's basically just what it is now remember the higher you build them the more material you need to fill them with so I like to do a layer although on some of those rabbits got to them so I had to build them up a bit higher so I mean decide you want to move your pallets, your planters, just move them off, fold up. Absolutely brilliant. It's the best thing I think that I've been able to do. So I'm going to show you again how my garden's laid out. Um, here you go, I've got them in rows here. What I did here, if we go in, 
I laid cardboard down between some of the rows in order to suppress the weeds. <laughs> you can see here, it did the job. It's an absolute mess because the chickies have scratched it all up. So all I'll do is I'll rake it up and I'll put that into the compost heap as well. I'll rake up all these like this mess, but you can see below where I've laid it down. It's suppressed a lot of the, um, the weeds over here. So you can see where I put the cardboard down, this area here, it's killed off the grass and it suppressed the weeds. And obviously the little chickies have scratched it all up and made a complete mess. Um, but I'll just rake it up and I'll also add that to my compost heap. So you can add um, broken, broken up boxes, add your vegetable peelings, um, eggshells, tea bags, coffee grounds, anything like that. If you can find some manure, mix that in. And the next spring, just add a layer of compost over the top.